So, when you think about how society has changed since World War II, and how other societies like the Amish who don't have the autism that we do today, you can see from all of the all of the statistics, all of the reports, society has changed. And it's having a detrimental effect on certain types of children who normally have certain types of ways they process information. It, it's just that simple. To me, it's just that simple. Oh, you can go into the food. Yeah, the food is changed. It's rotten. You know. But, but when you look at what has changed in society and how society treats children, modern society with its rules and social cues and everything is having a detrimental effect on certain types of children which that type of person has always been around a visual thinker you know th there's all these different types of people and societies change and grow you know hey it used to be if you were big and strong and muscular and everything you could be a soldier and wield a sword you know and that type of person was socially more important and then there was a time where you know inventing well that's more important and, and it's not like there's new types of people around and it's not like it's a syndrome and it's not like it's a disease it's just those type of people have always been around there's always been a variety it just depends on so how society treats them values them and trains them up and that's clearly demonstrated by parents who have pulled their children away from autism and then they become normal functioning children because society the environment has changed you look at it and you take the blinders off and look at what society really is and then look at the Amish and see they don't have the autism and look at what their society is now that's my take after having dealt with a few people who called me autistic and stuff like that and then I get in their face and I start communicating in a way that they understand and then I oh I guess you're not yeah okay see sometimes we choose to communicate and sometimes we choose not to communicate that's for neurotypicals that's for Aspies that's for everybody people choose how and when they choose to communicate and if you label somebody there's a reason for it and it's not a physical dysfunction it's a social cue it's how do you fit into society and society has said today that this type of thinker this type of person